today we'll be counting down 5 pieces of trivia or secrets related to Tavoli. Leave any trivia that I didn't mention in the comments down below. The altar of Guthix in the stone circle in Tavoli is one of the only two altars confirmed to be devoted to Guthix, with the other being the altar of nature in the nature grotto. Visually it appears to be same as Dolmen, the burial tombs used by gnomes in the tree gnome village and tree gnome stronghold. The stone circle in Varrock was once an altar to Guthix but has since been corrupted by followers of Zamorak. The music track Horizon, which unlocks in Tavoli, is also unlocked during the Beekeeper random event. It can also be unlocked directly in front of the gate to Tavoli, so it can be unlocked by free to play players outside of the Beekeeper random event, even though they cannot access Tavoli itself. In RuneScape Classic, the crystal chest found within Tavoli was often glitched, causing it to remain open and therefore unable to be unlocked and looted by players. This issue was only fixed with the system update which occurred on the 18th of April 2018. In fewer than two hours the chest was glitched again and not fixed before RuneScape Classic was shut down later that year. The Cauldron of Thunder which is used in the ritual to purify the Druid Circle in the Druidic Ritual Quest, despite being used by the Druids of Guthix, is guarded by suits of armour with Saradomin crests. This inclusion is strange as the remainder of the residents of the Tavoli dungeon are Zamorakian. If you lose the sword Excalibur after the Merlin's Crystal quest, you can get another one from the Lady of the Lake for 500 coins. Upon receiving the sword again, she thanks the player for the cash, saying that she felt like getting a new haircut. So that's what she does with the money. If you enjoyed the secrets and trivia today, drop a like and subscribe for more. Were there any entries today that you didn't know? Let me know down in the comments.